What's up, cats? What's up, chicks? River Bracer back with another video. It's been a while, I know. But, as stated before, content is limited at this time. So, just content is limited at this point in time. I have not had anything to show. But I do now. So let me get it off my foot. And I'll show you. So recently after my parents had visited, my mother gave me the $120 that she was uh, spending to get me some engineer boots from Tractor Supply, Ride Tech. However, um, Tractor Supply in Tennessee does not supply Ride Tech. They were bought twice, each time they didn't fit, so she left me the money to buy my own pair. Now, I went on Country Outfitters. They supply a lot of Western and workwear boots, and, um, well, what I got were, uh, Cody James Engineer Boots. This type of engineer boot is um, actually the old style harness. A lot of the uh, bikers back in the 40s and 50s wore these. The leather was tough. Um, and the engineer boot itself was a big staple to the greaser style. The greasers drew off the bikers look because the bikers were technically soldiers who had come home from I believe World War Two, and they had shell shock. Today we call that PTSD. And they had a sense of adventure, so they said, "Hey, let's ride motorcycles." The engineer boot was tough leather. Now, this type of engineer boot has a few um, has has a few uh, dis distinct differences I've seen. Um, the heel's a little bit higher than than, uh, than the flat foot engineer boots I've seen before. This gives it that kind of cowboy you know, sound when you walk. Y'all hear that? There's something moving in the hallway. Down that way. No, I'm kidding. Um, very cryptic, aren't we? Um, but yeah, I got these today. I ordered them. I will have more stuff to show later on, guys. It's just right now, um, for those who don't know, I don't know if I, um, I believe I, I put it out in another video. I am also doing college at this time, so I have to, um, stay on track with that. Um, I'm going online, Purdue University Global, um, for anybody who wants to, you know, go to college, I would recommend them, then again, it's the only college I've been to. Um, I'm doing a composition, technically it's a class in the, um, Working toward a bachelor's in science and communication, uh, co uh, college level composition, I uh, have not done very well as of lately, but I have tried very hard. Um, it is not easy. Uh, if I thought college was going to be easy, boy, was I ever wrong. But I committed myself to something, so now I got to follow through with that. The other thing I want to uh, say is. Um, for all those who watched the last video, understand, I wasn't so much as angry, it's just really annoyed. This harassment of this piston shifter, bunch of little faggot ass wannabe gracers, is, is, it's really nothing to get concerned about. I mean, if they had any balls, they'd come face me face to face. And if they did, that'd be a big mistake on their part, because people who know me know I don't fight fair. I mean, I would go out there with my fist, but you'd be 
today I'm sure we wear a few heavy rains and bust some fucking faces when I get through. Remember that. And if they run to the police, say, he beat me up, he busted my face. Hey man, I was wearing rings. It's jewelry. It wasn't weapons. Remember that. You bust somebody's fucking face when you're wearing rings, cops can't do shit. It's jewelry. It's not a weapon. Now you start wearing spiked ass rings and shit, then that's a weapon. So just remember that. And also, I don't promote violence. I don't encourage violence. I don't encourage any of that. Also, I want to give a shout out to uh, Cryptic Art, the madman. Uh, we all know that he's back now, and uh, he's doing good, so, you know, congratulations on putting smoke in, and I got room to talk, and, uh, drinking, but, uh, now, that I do have room to talk, but, you know, congratulations on all that, and stay, stay, stay up, stay good. Um, really, there's nothing else left to say, um. I really don't have much content left to, to shoot. Um, I went to my channel the other day and I really looked at a lot of the videos I shot and um, I, I probably have not covered everything but it sure as hell seems like I have. For those who know me, I don't drive, so I can't, you know, do videos of working on cars and shit like that. I don't even have an old vehicle. I don't have a motorcycle. I, I ain't got none of that stuff. But, um, like, um, said, um, in the previous videos, if you guys have any, uh, ideas or have questions you want me to recover, Put them in the comments down below. I check my channel very often. And, uh, I do, uh, check it often. So, if I see your comments and you've given me something you want me to speak on or, uh, you know, talk about, then, um, I will. And one last thing I did want to bring up I've seen it a lot with the younger cats and younger 